hello good morning to everyone welcome to tech easy today in this video i just want to explain how you can use the laptop and this video is especially for the very beginners who are using the laptop for the first time or uh, if you have recently purchased this laptop and i also purchased this laptop very recently this is lenovo amd ryzen 5 5625u laptop this is a brand new laptop uh, just I use this for like two to three weeks. Okay, first of all, let us just open this laptop Yeah See here. This is the power button. You need to just turn it on for the first time see my laptop as soon as I open this hinge uh, uh, It will automatically get turned on I no need to specially turn this on if your laptop model is not turning up automatically just use this power button for few uh, laptops the power button will be here at the left side whichever it may be just turn on it will just turn on and it will say welcome and this laptop is windows 11 laptop i will tell you how you can just uh, check which uh, what is this operating system is in this uh, laptop and everything i will tell you one by one so Ah, yeah, you can use this mouse pad which is given along with the computer laptop. Okay, or see here, I purchased Portronix mouse, wireless mouse, and with this dongle, this works. See here, right? So now, uh, in this tutorial purpose, I'll just operate with this mouse, and this mouse is under 300 rupees. I have been using this for the past eight months. For the previous laptop also okay first of all this is the home screen what you'll see the first thing i'll tell you is how you can check the computer specifications because this is very important what computer you have first you should know uh, anyway you'll have this amd ryzen 5 all the details here lenovo branding and some highlights here but internally with the software purpose how you can check you need to click on this explorer here file explorer okay click on this and first of all this is called menu bar all these items here are menu bar okay this is the windows logo and the search bar and here are all the uh, programs what you use you can pin any software here okay i'll tell you at the later and at the left side this pc means your pc you need to click on this and here at this space you need to right click on the mouse here right click right click okay if you are using the mouse pad this will be the right click so on this space what i'll do is i'll just tap on right click here on the empty space and if you can see select the properties as soon as you do that your system properties you will get to know system and above i'll be showing you this AMD Ryzen 5 5625U with Radeon graphics, 16 GB RAM, 2 GB graphic card, and 512 SSD of uh, hard disk. You can say hard disk of SSD type, uh, and some more details. Processor. This is a hexagon processor, six cores. Okay. Yeah. And all these things. Okay. I'll be just now. I'll be closing this for a moment. I'll be closing this also this is the desktop okay and anything if you want to search say for example if you want to open a notepad ms excel ms word we use this search on this search uh, keep the cursor here and search for anything say for example notepad you search first of all notepad so immediately any program which is already installed available on your laptop will be available here so just tap on this so it will get open so uh, just on the google you can search like keyboard shortcuts for the laptop and you can just get to know see here if i say hello uh, you can just select this with the mouse here select this with the mouse and just you can control c for copy and i'll give two enters here and if you say like control v control plus v it will just copy likewise just try to learn all the uh, shortcuts 
and if you want to install any new software for example if you want to search any software available on your computer you'll use this search right uh, say for example we'll search now excel excel i'll type ms excel excel okay excel see excel app is already installed on my computer so i can directly double click on this and i can open this what if that particular software is not available by default your computer comes with microsoft edge browser you can search here for the edge browser here first and open the browser from here you will start downloading new software to your computer say for example if you want a chrome browser see here the chrome browser is already available in this computer for your case if it is new laptop or if you are new to the laptop if you want to download chrome i'll just search as chrome download and it will open a website and from here you can click on download chrome and this gets downloaded here at the top see here at the top and now you can double click on this software you can just go to the downloads here and double click on this if you can run this that gets installed to your computer in this way you can just install a new software uh, to your computer and if you want to check the whole settings just like your android phone you'll go to the settings area right in computer in windows 11 or windows 10 computer if you want to check the settings you need to use this uh, windows logo just click on the windows logo so i'll operate windows logo and he'll you here you'll see settings settings so these are all your computer settings your laptop settings this is the menu bar uh, see the list of items uh, home home system bluetooth and devices network and internet personalization apps accounts time and language gaming accessibility private and security windows update say for example if you want to change time and language see here here uh, the time will be displayed right you can click on time and language date and time is there language and religion is there you can change that uh, typing and speech if you want to change date and time just click on date and time and these are different options you need to just check each and everything and see here home and system system is uh, the display setting sound setting notification setting everything will be available here or what is the storage what are the installed apps see here under this system i'll go to system here under system under storage you can find all the installed apps on your computer see here these are all the installed apps if at all if you want to remove any unwanted uh, software see for example google chrome you can just reach here and click on uninstall see uninstall and this is one way another way is you can just open control panel on the search control panel and you can just double click on this and you can click on uninstall a program and un choose a program and you can uninstall means if you select a program you will get uninstall option here you can click and at the bottom right you will have this option trace and here if you click you this is where you can connect wi-fi see here manage wi-fi it is saying manage wi-fi connections when you turn on this all the available list of uh, wi-fi's will be available here here you need to connect likewise the bluetooth uh, currently my bluetooth is turned off and now i'm just turning it on okay and aeroplane mode is available here accessibility energy saver live captions brightness increase and decrease here the brightness has been decreased now it's been increasing this is the volume and yeah another settings setting shortcut here okay in this way you can use uh, to open microsoft word on the search you can just search as microsoft word and click on the microsoft word whether it is powerpoint presentation or uh, any editing software you can just open like this and work with the documents
and once you are finished that you need to click on this file for any software and you can click on save as and you can just save to this PC and say for example right now I'm just saving it on desktop okay with a name called document one and if you save this uh, just try to uh, save it in another area just for the tutorial purpose I'm just saving it on desktop so that I can show you see here on the desktop it got saved and this is the Explorer okay and here under D drive if you want to create a new folder here you can click on new and click on folder and you can give it a name like example I'm saying exmp okay and hit enter for this and a new example has been uh, folder has been created likewise and as I said this is the menu bar when you right click on this it will open taskbar settings and the taskbar task manager see when any program got stuck on your laptop uh, just like uh, your android mobile clearing all the recent tasks this is the task manager you can click on this task manager and here it will show you all your computer performance see here what are the processes running say for example at some times if you want to kill any program which is not uh, able to get out of the uh, present working here you can just right click on this and click on end task so that program that program which is currently running get deleted and here you can see the left option see here this is the left menu options and processes performance app history startup apps users details services so if anyone uh, ask you to close any services which is running you can just filter the services here these are all the background services some are running some are stopped here uh, the status see here uh, i'll be showing you uh, see uh, status these are stop anything which is running yeah this is running which is running AMD external event is running here okay uh, so if at all if I want to uh, stop any service I can right click on this I can stop like this and we can check the performance also the second option performance and here currently 2% of the CPU is being utilized memory RAM is 6.6 .6 GB is being utilized disk space is 3% being utilized so my computer is pretty much running faster so if you do have any other questions you can just ask in the comments and this laptop I purchased for 38,000 I will be tagging this product if you want to change and this is for 300 rupees and this is the Derek's uh, shine and gel this is for 70 rupees I just purchased for the phone cleaning uh, and the laptop cleaning yeah if you do have any other questions you can just ask in the comments below thanks for watching have a nice day